It is not true. Don't believe him. He was drunk. I believe him. It's strange that I do. But something about the way he said it makes it sound very true. Besides, it explains everything that has happened in the past. Feels like what? His uncaring attitude towards me. His refusal to sponsor me to the Polytechnic. The way he looks at me. Never mind. I'm sure he's not my father. Omarara. Who is in the better position to know? You or I? Ms. Gaoshoba Ariaguru is your father. I, your mother, said so.
on my head now. Foolish girl. Come back here. Come on, stand here. Are you a virgin? Are you a virgin? God will punish you if you don't answer me. Are you a virgin? I don't know. <laughs> Malu, near Malu. <laughs> ah, you are a cow. A blind cow that does not know the position of her tail. He, 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 he. So you want to tell me now that you don't have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. You are a big liar. All right. Okay. Now remove your cloth. Yes, I see so. Remove your cloth. Let me see. Let, let me see if you are mature. Mm. Remove it. Ah, you see that? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> you see that? You cannot even remove your cloth. Because you don't want me to see the havoc that those small, small boys have committed on your body. Are these the hips of a virgin? Are these the hips of a virgin? Tell me. Uh, is this the face of a virgin? Is this the face of a virgin? When you run here, you are a liar. You are a liar. Come on, get out of my face. Oh, dear, I'm going Mama, if you have any conscience in you, then you will tell me the truth. I'm tired of the way he looks at me. I'm tired of the loss in his eyes. I'm tired of his foul language. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired. God, how can you tell me this kind of man is my father? Lara, listen to me. I listen good. That man is your father. Look, he always talked like this because he was always drunk and nothing more. Mama, you're lying and you know it. Me? God, this is wicked. It is unfair. I mean, it is unsafe for you to hide the true identity of my father from me, Mama. It is unfair. What? It is unfair? Look, I feed you. I close you. I do all sorts of businesses to make sure you are okay. All you could do is to sit down there and accuse me of not being fair to you. Is it fair for you to accuse me of not being fair? Lara? Mama, admit it. You're hiding the truth from me. He's not my father. You're lying. Shut up! How dare you? How dare you call me a liar? Your mother!
have you done to my daughter? Ask her, Lopito. Tomodiri, Tagbari. I don't care about your own daughter. <laughs> I want my own daughter, my own child. That's so, all. And you think it is by doing all sorts of wrong things to another man's child that you will get your own? Or should listen to me? Children are spirits. And they wouldn't want to be born into a wicked man's house. Say it all. Lara is not my daughter. And she will never be. Omo lo money. Omo ajokuta ma mumene. So you better get pregnant now. Just now and give me my own daughter. Why do you keep talking like this? Am I God? Or did you get me pregnant that I refuse to carry? Stop blaming God. We all know that you play too much when you are younger. Yes. Yes. Ha. One man, one night. Oh, come, come. Oh, come, come. I shall stop it. Stop what? The truth is that Lara is now my own. You better tell her the truth now so that she can look for her father, the Ajokuta Mamumi. Or else, I will not hesitate to tell her myself again. You are enjoying my money. Are you not? You and your mother say I am a drunk, and yet I provide breakfast. <laughs> I am not useless after all, am I? Lara. Maybe you can start earning yourself some good money for your upkeep in this house. Oh, yes. If I say I want to befriend you, you will say it is abomination. But I know it is normal because I am not your father. Yes, you are not my daughter. In fact, your mother had you before I married her. You were six years old when I married Feitola, your mother. That is the truth. Oh, you are surprised. <laughs> you are shocked. Eh? Ask her. She will tell you the truth. Anyway, um, let me go back to my previous advice. You see, you are grown up now. You can earn good money for your own upkeep. That's all. I will connect you with some of my rich friends, and um, after each escapade, you give me 30% of whatever you are paid. How about that? What is the matter with you? 
Hmm? He told me to go and sleep with rich friends of his for money. Who? And he tried to rape me. Ha! It's a lie. It's not true, okay? Osho? Yes. Ah, may God Almighty punish him. May God ruin him. I hope he didn't hurt you. He only rubbed my clothes. Hey. But well, he told me something. What did he tell you? Hmm. Not something I didn't know before. Like what? He reminded me that he's not my father. Oh my God, not again. Not again. And that he married you when I was six years old. I need to leave this house, Mama. I believe you to leave. Oh, Lara. Your real father is an evil man. I will give you his picture. His name is Ozo. He's from Memo State. A place called Umuwe in Ibise. Is he still alive? Yes. We were to get married. But his people rejected me. All because of tribal considerations. Does he know about me? Of course. I did not hide the fact that I was pregnant for him. But I made him a promise that he will never set his eyes on you. I was hot. I was bitter. because he danced with people's tongue. And ending our love, a love that was so deep. He left you. Just like that. Just because you were from his tribe. Yes, he did. So I vanished. I made no contact with him again. And the man that first came my way from my tribe, I married. I need to find my father. I know. I will give you his pictures. The ones he and I took together. If you ever find him, give the pictures to him. Did you confuse them? Amorara, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. And I'm going to miss you. for trying to lay your filthy hand on a girl that's as good as her own daughter. I know. 
<laughs> you are a dog, a he god that does not know the difference between his mother Anos and the Anos of our dash she goat. I agree. But is the he god not a happy god? <laughs> the happiest god on earth. I shall shame on you. Shame on you! And shame on you too for laying on the same bed with a shameful man. Oh, do you think I will ever let you touch me again? You? Do you think so? Filthy rack. Oh, wife of a filthy rack. I reject that. I no more your wife. Oh, concubine of a filthy rack. The God Almighty destroy this your evil mouth. And also punish all the mouths that have kissed this my mouth, including your mouth. Me? Yes. <laughs> Oh, one man went to him. Oh, went to him. I met him. One man went to him. Went to him. I met him. Our father's house? Yes. Why was I not told? Ah, because we sold your honor. And nobody regards you again in this house. Eh? Yes. And she's not going anywhere. Unless our father comes here to take her. So by then I'll be able to present him with the comprehensive list of what I have spent on her so far. You are a nuisance. Eh? And you cannot stop her. Myself? Yes! She's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Let go now! Are you looking for somebody? Yes, um, I'm looking for Nancy Ozo's house. This is a money, Abby. Oh. No way. Well, um, this is his house, but um, he's not around now. Nancy Ozo? Yes. This is his house. Of course, you're in the right place. Thank you. Are those things yours? Yes, yes. <laughs> Just discharge them. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah. Let me help you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, eh? Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. 
Would you like to put it? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, I forgot your name again. Carl, just call me Carl. Carlo, um, please, when is Mr. also going to return? Because he's... Very soon, just uh, before nightfall. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to disturb you. Um, you know, doesn't have any children, wife. You know, he seems to be the only one in the house. Or is he not married? Um, he was married, but um, his wife later died. Leaving his children, they all died one after the other. So I'm the only one in the house with him. What about you? I I thought you were his son or something. No, I am his nephew. His late brother's son. Your father is dead too? Yes. Is that how everybody dies in this family? What do you say? <sighs> Nothing else. No, you go ahead and eat your food. I am. Uh, I'll just... This place is Rumuhi village, and the place you said you were going to is about six hours journey from here. So relax. We can have it. We can have it. What are you talking about? What do you mean I should relax? Relax and do what? Are you relax with my. Okay, I have to leave. I have to You are not going anywhere. I gave you water to take your bath. I gave you food, even accommodation. Now, if I ask you to pay me, do you know how much it is? Do you know? I mean, relax. We can have you two together tonight, baby. Tomorrow you begin your search, okay? That's my baby,
Let's go. Where they go? Okay, I'm going to Mr. Ozo's compound. Do you know the place? Min Mas Yozo. Min Mas Yozo. Mr. Ozo, anyone? That's what you say now. That's what you say. Um, which one is Mr. Also? Also, who has a mighty shop up there? Yeah. But you pay 15 naira. I don't mind, I don't mind. Just let me put it there. Check. Are you sure you know the place? Yes, I know the place. I blame you. If you get free. For somebody, where did you get these? My mother gave them to me to be able to locate my father. Who is your mother? Fintola. to come quickly. Your sister is back. My sister. Hurry. Mama. Mama. My daughter. I'm so sorry. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nai, who is this? A big girl. My lost daughter is back. Have you prepared? We're going to slaughter a goat immediately to rejoice. Hey, welcome. Hey, hey, it's Ibumwa. Oh. Such a fine girl. Oh, welcome. Hey. Hey. Nai, you have really tried.
my calculations are right. She is 20 years. My kids, man, 20 years is not 20 days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, in all those years, I did not set my eyes on my daughter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I did not even know where to start the search. But I trusted Chiku Abiyama. And I believed Amen. that no blood of Umbise would be lost in foreign land. Amen. Okay, man. <laughs> Yesterday, Chiku Abiyama, the God Almighty, brought my daughter right to my doorstep. Amen. Eh? Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Had I more money, I would have killed a cow oh, yes. 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 to rejoice. Yes, <laughs> so this is why I invited you to come and rejoice with me. Yes. Yes. Huh? You better come, eh? And uh, as we rejoice, I use this opportunity to introduce her to you. Her name is Lara. But here and from now onwards, I call her Amarachikwa. Ah, yeah. 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 So please accept her as one of us. She is my true flesh and blood. Yeah. 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 No. Thank you, sir. No. Let's go. No. Hey! Goodbye! Hi! Yo! Abu Mao! Yo! Abu Gazio! Emolon Chapel, you Oh, 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 Fresco uniform for you. Eh? Didn't you hear me? I begin to speak now. Eh? Hey, hey, hey! I have been noticing it. Nai, you are too happy these days. Uh, how do you mean? Have you bothered to ask if we just new school uniform has been sold? Or if we just made him dance costume for the festival is ready, eh? It is now Amaradis, Amaradat. A stranger and an outsider who cannot even speak our language. Abigail, we call him. Abigail, Abigail, Tikora Maka, Abigail, Dera. Why? Hey, Amar. Yeah. Is it true that in Lagos everybody has his own car? Hey! <laughs> it's not true. Yeah. Mm, some people still jump public buses now. Though my mother's husband had a car shy. He sold it. Now why? He didn't like it anymore. No. He has a drinking problem. Why? Do you know this man used to come back at odd hours and insult my mother and I? Hi. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> very sad. Uju, come with me. Bena, what is it? Haven't I warned you several to stop commanding me in my father's house? Your mother wants to see you now. I've been seeing him around. Who is he? He's my father's shopkeeper. His father died last year, so my father asked him to come and live with us. 
I'm sure he's just coming back from about where he went to buy provisions for my father's shop. Please, let me go and see. Uh -huh, wait, let me pack the head together. Don't touch it all. Okay. Hurry, I'm waiting. All right. Just wait. I'm coming, okay? Okay, now. Okay. Hurry up. Now, all of you, listen very carefully to me. You all have to beware of that girl, whatever she's called, whether it's Amara or Lara. That girl. She has no other mission in this house than to steal your father's love to herself. And all of you, especially you, you, you must not allow it. That girl, she's an outsider in this house. And we must not allow her to take away what belongs to us. But, Mama, to me, Amara is a nice girl. Oh. So, I don't know what I'm saying, eh? Come here. I don't know what I'm saying. Do you not see grey hairs on my head? Do you think they are for nothing? I have seen many years, my daughter. Whenever I tell you anything, don't argue with me at all. Hmm? Well, Mama, should I stop beating her? No, my son. Greet her. Greet her so that your father will not be angry. Greet her. You see, tribalism is a very well kept thing. If I had been as wise and old as I am today, I wouldn't have listened to my parents. It was my parents who insisted I should not marry Fentola. Huh. They cost me that relationship. Well, Papa, did you mm -hmm. really love her very much? Did I? Mm. Mm. I don't know how to answer this question. Because if I answer yes, why did I end that relationship on the flimsy excuse of tribal differences? And if I say no, what was I doing with Fentola for five good years? Mm -hmm. You were with her for five years. Five good years. Our relationship lasted for five good years. Let's say that I loved Fentola. I loved her very much. But Papa, how come you never looked for me? Didn't you love me too? It's not that, my daughter. Sometimes love isn't just enough. There are forces stronger than love. And when these forces are not in tune with uh, love, I mean, love dies. Would you? Amara, what are you people still doing here? Hmm? You get up. Are you not going to prepare for your meeting dance? And you, Amara, you are now an Igbo girl. So, you better go and register and join your mates. But, Mama, we're just discussing with Papa now. Mama, we're just discussing with Papa now. Won't you leave my husband for me? Or do you want to snatch my husband? <laughs> All right, would you take care of your sister Clara long, huh? Let her learn her ways, okay? So come on. Okay, Papa. Bye. Bye. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye my daughters. Mm. Mm. I have two beautiful and lovely daughters. I'm a very happy man. <laughs> <laughs> two daughters indeed. Bia, Nai, you have only one. Mama, this one for our food. Food? What food? Can you cook? Oh, you want food, eh? Come and eat me. Sorry. Come and eat me now. Sorry, Mama.
dancing like a guinea fowl. <laughs> she doesn't dance. She can't twist. She quakes like tolo tolo. <laughs> I won't have you saying such things about my sister. Then tell your sister to go and learn how to dance. Is she not an evil girl? What is your own business? Eh? We tell her she will learn how to dance. What is your business? Look, you let's go home. Let's go home because it's already late. Let's go. Going home will not help you. Learn to bend your waist and roll it like maybe of this village. Not like this, hard like a rock. Shh. I don't know what is wrong with you. Eh? No. Huh? Leave them. Let them talk. Listen, I swear to Almighty God, if any of you should say one more word, you have me to face it. Your sister is only Europa. Good. Ah! Hey, 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 hey.